The opposition leaders said our athletes will either make or break PNG with their performance. Mr. Polia said giving ample time for the athletes to know their sporting venue is very vital. He says the opposition wants to see venues be completed so athletes have a feel of the different sporting facilities prior to the games next month. But they deserve the right and it's an opportunity they cannot uh, miss. They should go on to the fields and try out the fields before the, the actual competitions come up. Mr. Pole urged the government to check facilities under construction and push contractors to the limits so facilities are completed. The ministers to do that, they should go in there, check, to make sure everything is on track and every facility, uh, outstanding work undone, needs to be completed within the next one to two weeks time. But Sports Minister Justin Chechenko and Prime Minister Peter O'Neill remain confident that all facilities will be completed on time for PNG to host the Games. Uh, I'm very comfortable, I'm sleeping well, knowing that uh, the infrastructure is on target on time and will be ready for July 4th, 2015. Meanwhile, Mr. Pole urged all Papua New Guineans to be in their best to welcome neighbouring Pacific countries taking part in the Games. The position is uh, happy. We are a, a happy team to uh, be to share this happiness and the games here uh, with our Pacific neighbours, uh, sportsmen, women, and uh, others. Officials will be coming to this country. Jack Lopave, Junior National, MTV News.